Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're on the League 4 server once again doing another challenge. Today's challenge is going to be the Iron Man Nudist Challenge. Yep, that's right. No clothes, no armor, nothing. On top of that, we only get one life. We'll take regular damage, which won't be too hard, but we only get one life and we cannot die. So if we die, our character basically gets deleted. We can't do anything else. We can't even send mail. And there we are. We got our Night Elf female. Had to put that in there for you guys, you know. And then uh, we're going to do the draft mode again. So let's start that up. All right, we're going with the build draft. For some reason, oh, there we go. Never mind. Um, let's hit the damage. Let's see what we get. We got Time Shifter. That's pretty neat. All right, an Arcane Mage. We got Arcane Evoker. Fireball and Frostbolt. All right. Predator's Wrath. All right. Well, this actually seems pretty cool. It's kind of like a duo between like a cat and the Balanced Druid. We got Divine Sentinel. That's pretty sweet. Dreadnought. That sounds cool, but Sinister Strike. Ugh. I like Sinister Strike because it's such a like a great ability, good filler, but like it's in a lot of these builds and it just uses so much energy. You hit hit twice and then you're out of energy. But I had to see what the rest of these are. That's that's okay. They had some cool names. I'm thinking maybe the time shifter or the evoker. Something range would probably be a good idea, especially since we're gonna be pretty squishy. Um, I'm going to look at these builds real quick and see what they're all about, and then we'll uh, make a decision. Right, boys, I uh, looked at these two, Arcane Voker and the Time Shifter. I think we'll go with the Time Shifter. It seems pretty cool. Um, it might be a little bit easier to play, but this one, you might just have like too much going on. So I think this one is going to be fun. It's going to be kind of like a, a balanced druid, it seems like. So we'll get everything set up here. Arcane Missiles and our Moonfire. I feel like maybe we played this one before. Um, equip our staff, sync everything up. And uh, we'll get started. So we'll, we'll grind these first couple levels here. Um, I'm going to grab a... Actually, I don't need these, this stuff here. The cool thing about not uh, having any gear to wear is you can just sell everything that you get. So basically, you're just going to make as much money as possible, which is going to be sweet. Uh, we'll grab all these quests here. And then also, I'm going to grab a uh, profession. I don't know if we just want to stick with tailoring because we do that every single time. But it's, it's nice to make the bags. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. We'll do skinning and tailoring. And then we can grab woodcutting too. Why not? It'll give us extra XP if we keep up with it. But I'm not overly worried about it if we don't. But it will be nice uh, just to have. If anything, we'll have to delete this for some bag space. But that, there we go. We're going to summon our loot bot. And we're going to get started. Uh, we just have to kill some of these guys here. We got Moonfire and then the Arcane Missiles. This is just like a regular Arcane Missile. It only shoots one at the moment, which is kind of boring. Uh, he loops that, and then I can skin our little gizmo guys here. Gizmo, you saying hi to everybody? All right, so we're going to blast through this real quick, see what other kind of abilities we get, and then uh, see where we're going to go for there. We've been going to Duskwood a lot, and it's getting kind of repetitive. Um, some of them, like, creatures and stuff that you got to fight are just kind of pain in the butt. So I might see what other options we have in terms of leveling. Maybe we'll even go, like, onto the other continent or something like that. But we'll, uh, we'll get started here, and then we'll figure that part out. Alrighty guys, we're currently sitting at level 25. We got a new couple new abilities here. We got Starfire. I've been spamming this guy. Um, we got Arcanist Explosion. It's like a channeled arcane explosion. We got uh, Icy Veins for haste increase. Um, Sunfire, decent like Moonfire alternative. Heal, a couple other little things here and there. Some mana and stuff. Not too much. We got Blink, which is nice. Um, we're over in Red Ridge still. There is a group of mobs here that we're going to have to kill. So I'm going to give this a shot and see how it goes. If anything, I might, uh, actually let's take these guys out first in case we have to run back. Yeah, I don't really want to get, uh, screwed if we, uh, have to run. There we go. We'll heal up a little bit. And, uh, grab some mana. There we have a couple of random potions we've picked up. We just made a new, couple new bags, which is sweet. Uh, we have a little bit of wool. We need nine, I think, for each bag. So let's uh, head up here. We'll send our minion in first. If I keep them all distracted on um, him, that'd be easy. But that won't happen. We'll pop our uh, little offensive. We gotta kill this guy. Oh, the two of them even trigger. All right, here we go. We're gonna just pop this explosion. Especially with the haze. Holy shit, we're slapping, boys. Gotta take this guy out. I actually thought that was going to be a little bit difficult because I wasn't sure how much damage they were going to do. This guy's just standing there while all his friends are dying, so. Bang. That was easy. We didn't even have to heal. Nice. Alright, that was easy. I just had to kill him. Uh, there's a few other things over here. 
I think it is some of those orcs. There is, I got some of these trees caught up, my skinning caught up as well. And then um, tailoring's up a little over 100. I'm able to make those wool bags, which is sweet. I actually think I might go for this chest here. Maybe I can get some more uh, wool and make some more bags. That'd be sweet as well. Yeah, so far it's basically just spamming the Starfire. Um, popping this mana thing as soon as it comes off cooldown because my mana is really low. And then also uh, Sunfire when they get when the enemies get low. When I'm fighting these uh, melee or these uh, humanoids, it's pretty nice because I can uh, easily get them low enough and then they kind of stop hitting me and just like, flee. And then I just finish them off, which is pretty sweet. Um, now, over here, I think I want to go after these. If these guys all come at once, I'll just blast them with this. If those mystics attack, then I might take those guys out first. There you go, he's dead. Take this guy out. Might as well. There was a hot spot over in the lake. We were getting some XP, then there was one down there. And uh, we also did a couple other quests. Uh, nothing good. We got some silk, though. Silk bags will be sweet. And all this other junk. All right, well, we're going to keep questing, boys. Probably head up here, grab some of these, and then uh, see what other kind of abilities and stuff we get as we go forward. If there's any interesting fights or anything like that, I'll definitely put those in. Ooh, boys, we just got a new ability, Temporal Blast. Um, so basically, it does a bunch of damage. If you cancel it, it saves your time invested into the ability. So basically, if you cancel it with 1.1 second, it's going to come back when you use it that way uh, when you use it next and then on top of that you uh stack it up and it gives you temporal haste which increases the uh casting speed on top of that um it barely uses any mana it's got 29 mana compared to 58 and 113 which is sweet um it is a enchant which i wasn't sure about because i only have two pieces of gear which is where the enchants go but um, I just took one piece off and it put it on. So I was like, all right, that works. So basically, I just had to do a little bit of a switcheroo there. And then, uh, what's this? Uh, oh, uh, blast. Yeah, I don't really care for the other one. Okay, but yeah, I just had to basically take my bow off and put it back on and it started working. So sweet. So if I cancel it right there, I get a cast and bang. It's just super quick, no mana. And uh, really good damage. We got some more crit and stuff too. With uh, oh, that was a one shot. Um, some more crit and stuff too as we level with the talent points that we're getting. Uh, let me see. There's haste there. Um, chance to hit something I'm not missing. Different increases in spirit and uh, extra damage. Like right here. Some more haste. A lot of good stuff. Raise is a good one. That one's I think what six percent. Yeah, six percent crit. So yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, casting part is great. The pet isn't really doing too much, but it's nice to have him just in case. Uh, it's not like a hunter pet, but um, there is some quests over here, but there's a lot of elites. I really don't want to go over there. So I think I'm just going to hang out over here in this uh, hot spot here. And I might head to another zone shortly, but I just want to give you guys a little update so far. And then uh, we'll... See if we get to level 30 soon. Boys, we stopped over here at Duskward to turn on the quest, and we are shredding. Onk. Basically, one shot in most of these guys, other than these warriors, they have a little bit more health. Like the skeleton maze right here, like bang, dead. This guy right here, bang, dead. Um, yeah, as I was coming over here, I got a little bit worried and scared because I looked at the map and there's all these dead failed challenges from Stitches. I remember back in the day when I like I first found out about him. Ooh, we finally got the intellect. Sweet. Um, being absolutely terrified of him back in the day. We also got a flame tongue weapon. I don't know if I mentioned that at all, but this arcane intellect is well overdue. Holy shit, about 30% more. Um intellect there we also uh oh we also made two more bags so we can uh get decked out with that but yeah we're doing pretty good so far there's also a hot spot right here i'm just worried about this, this uh, scourge invasion i don't want that to like screw us over or anything like that so we'll just have to keep an eye out but so far so good all right boys we're level 30 uh we didn't really get anything else interesting the arcane intellect was nice to grab um a couple little like talents and stuff like that but this Temporal Blast is awesome. I use that, and then that gives me a faster cast time on other abilities. So I usually use Starfall because that's pretty quick. I don't have to wait for it to go and travel. It's a rain from the sky. 
Tarzan's coming to say hi. Um, and then sometimes I just finish him up with a Moonfire. It's super sweet. Just bang, bang, all good. Mana is still a little bit hard to come by. So this guy is nice to have. Um, I would like to spec more into it, but talents you really can't do much about. But yeah, so not, not too bad so far. We're having some fun. Uh, we just got to 30, so we're going to probably finish up some quests here and head to Stranglethorn. So uh, stay tuned for episode 2. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on episode 2.